Virtualization software has gone from a niche tool for developers to a broadly used tool by all sorts of businesses. Whether you're trying to virtualize your infrastructure, manage dependencies, or run software on a different operating system, Oracle VM VirtualBox and VMware ESXi are two of the most popular virtualization options a business can use. If you are new to virtualization though, it can be tricky to know which one will best meet your needs. We'll go over the top strengths and limitations of each virtualization tool to help you figure out what the best one for your business is. Before we get into specific feature offerings, it is important to discuss the differences in how VMware and Oracle VM VirtualBox handle virtualization. VMware offers a Type 1 hypervisor, meaning that it runs on bare metal or directly on your system's hardware. In contrast, Oracle VM VirtualBox is a Type 2 hypervisor, meaning that it runs on an operating system similar to other software that you may have installed. These differing approaches to virtualization result in a few different outcomes for each virtualization solution. Type 1 hypervisors, like VMware ESXi, are highly secure. Since they are isolated to hardware instead of an operating system, an attack on one virtual machine doesn't necessarily put others at risk like it would if they were all running on the same OS. Type 1 hypervisors do require a bit more effort in terms of management as they need to be managed externally rather than just being a program that anyone can install on their computer. Type 2 hypervisors are easier to manage and set up, but tend to be lower performance compared to their Type 1 counterparts. They are frequently used for running less demanding software that isn't supported by the host operating system or for creating specific development environments that include specific dependencies. Beyond the differences in how they handle virtualization, VMware and Oracle VM VirtualBox also have some distinct strengths and limitations that are important to consider when choosing one for your business. The most obvious difference between the two solutions is the licensing model. Oracle VM VirtualBox is a free open source tool. Businesses can use the software entirely for free with all of its features. In contrast, VMware ESXi uses a more traditional licensing model that includes a free version, but also offers a paid version starting at $495. The free version is missing some of the enterprise features like central management, but the paid version includes support and automated patching, which are features that you won't find in the free version of any virtualization tool. Some unique strengths of VMware include its high availability. VMware virtual machines are very stable and reliable, so you won't have to worry about frequent crashes or data loss due to virtual machine error. Additionally, VMware offers vMotion, which enables users to easily transfer virtual servers as needed. Lastly, VMware ESXi integrates with other VMware tools such as vSphere and vCloud Air. If your organization is looking for a suite of virtualization products rather than one virtualization tool, VMware is a strong option. VMware does also offer very high-performance virtual machines, so if you're looking to do something like server virtualization that demands good performance and availability, VMware is a strong choice. VirtualBox also offers some unique advantages. The first is that it offers nearly limitless virtual machine snapshots, so you won't have to worry much about data loss or mismanaging of the settings of your virtual machines because you'll always have backup points that you can restore from if something goes wrong. VirtualBox is also compatible with a large variety of host operating systems and is super easy to set up, so users will have an easier time managing it on their own compared to a Type 1 hypervisor, which may feel unfamiliar to many end users. So now that we've looked at the key strengths of VirtualBox and VMware ESXi, which one is the right choice for you? VirtualBox is ideal if you want a fully featured free virtualization tool and high performance is not a priority. It's a common choice for users that need to use software on other operating systems or who want to create specific development environments. VirtualBox is also a good choice for organizations that lack the technical expertise to manage a Type 1 hypervisor on their own. Inexperienced users are likely to have an easier time installing VirtualBox compared to VMware ESXi. VMware ESXi is ideal for businesses where performance and reliability are key priorities. For example, server and infrastructure virtualization are common use cases for VMware. VMware is also a good choice for organizations in need of enterprise support or a broader suite of virtualization products, notably for businesses that really want to enjoy the customer support and enterprise level features of VMware, it is necessary to pay for a license versus using the free version. If you still aren't sure which virtualization tool is right for your needs, consider checking out some verified reviews of either product on TrustRadius.com. 
All reviews on Trust Radius are from real users that share their experience with business software based on their use case and technical skill. If you liked this video and you want to see more content like it, consider hitting the subscribe button so that you never miss an upload. You never miss